for one. It's Kelly. Finally went back to the Dollar Tree and it's the first time in a couple months. And I found some books and I got some other stuff that we needed around the house. So I'm going to go through the books first. And the first three books I'm going to show you. I just picked them up. I love the covers. I love the titles. And uh, of course I got some in the middle of a series. So the first one is Map of Fates by Maggie Hall. This is a conspiracy conspiracy of us novel so I think it's like uh, a finishing school type assassin thing I'm not sure but they're in ball gowns so uh, I've seen this all over booktube like in the early days and I've always wanted to read it so and it looks like a freaking clock so I don't know time travel maybe oh. okay the next one it's Gods of Wood and Stone by Mark D'Iono. And it's got a baseball on the cover. And Joe Grudek is a living legend in baseball history, beloved by the Boston Red Sox fans. He once played for millions under the bright Fenway lights. But a lifetime of fame has left him adrift in a world that sees only the celebrity, not the man beneath. Great American novel about the great american pastime i love baseball so i think i will have a fun time reading this and then the other one i picked up it's got the same title as one of my favorite book series uh, like one of the first books in my favorite series and um it is the gilded cage by lucinda gray this is like victorian times in england um 1820s when it shattered, when her brother mysteriously drowns. Catherine is expected to observe the morning customs and move on with her life, but she can't accept that her brother's death was an accident. Soon a bitter poacher prowls the estate, and strange visitors threaten the occupants of the house. Last two books, I only bought five books, so the one the next one is The Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy, handbook for girl geeks by Sam Maggs. Uh I remember seeing this on booktube and loving the hardback and this is the only copy that I saw so make like link and stay silent and host a killer pre-release party noob so I have a feeling that this will be fun to read and I don't know what it is it's a handbook but I think it's like cosplay parties or something like that I don't know but looking forward to reading it and then I saw the name of the author on this one and had to get it because in my mind I compared this author to Stieg Larsson because he's Danish and he writes he wrote a series called Department Q it's kind of like a crime thriller-esque and I saw this one and this is not part of that series but it is by the same author and it is the Washington Decree by Jesse Adler Olson and it's about a Democratic senator is elected president of the United States It's a personal victory for campaign staffer um, a job in the White House proved to her Republican father that she was right to support Jansen but the triumph is short-lived Jansen's pregnant wife is assassinated on election night and the alleged mastermind behind the shooting is none other than her father what so Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. I have not started his series, Department Q, yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. And I got the second book because I bought it from Dollar Tree. And, yes, so, and it's floppy, so I had to get it. I think this is the first one I picked up. I'm not sure. But, yes, I love the cover. And I have a feeling that I will really love his writing and his stories. So, now. On to non-bookish items. I had to get some things from my house. My kids wanted some stuff. My kids needed some stuff. So yeah, let's get on to that. Okay, so what's all in this bag is just the same thing. Uh, if you've been with my channel for a while and uh, subscribe because of the Dollar Tree Hauls, thank you, by the way. Um, if you're still here and I appreciate your support. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, please comment or subscribe. Hit that red button and the bell. But, yeah, I picked up four of these. Hawaiian Oasis renews it. I got four rooms in my house that need them. And, yes, so 
this is my favorite scent and I can smell it right now and it's just divine and then there's pineapple and coconut I think but yes I always buy these I buy them by the bulk and yeah so that was first bag and so the second bag the last bag uh, how to get a new whisk Betty Crocker brand and it is like plastic hopefully it does good because I've been using like a metal uh, mixer attachment and it's like falling apart so the next thing my daughter's needed was more toothpaste uh, yeah it's a four ounce biggest size that Dollar Tree carries go to Dollar Tree and buy toothpaste and look at the sizes they sell from two ounce to four ounce you don't want to be screwed over and miss an extra two ounces for a dollar so yeah okay and then the last three things in this haul excuse you dryer the last three things in this haul my daughters asked for them and I don't know why but hey they love to write and so they got some notebooks um, this one is a cat with glass sunglasses and it says possum and I love the teal ish background and it's 80 pages another one uh, it's another cat with star sunglasses and it says catitude and this one also has 80 pages and then the last one it's just like a book style journal with lined paper and it says mermaid vibes I really like this one because of the scales and then the hollow and this one has 60 sheets so yeah not a great buy but hey got screwed out of extra 20 sheets but whatever so that is it for this Dollar Tree haul I hope you enjoyed it. if you did please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video without the dryer beeping.